What is up guys? Welcome back and today we have a model unboxing. I've not done a model unboxing in a long time. Well actually that's not true. I haven't uploaded an unboxing in a long time. The last four attempts at an unboxing were hampered by interruptions. I cut my finger. Um, one of them the camera was all messed up and yeah so I'm doing this one with my phone because I was not expecting this today. I was actually expecting this tomorrow and our friend packing peanuts has returned. I wish it would have worked out on the last unboxing because it was just paper, but yeah, just my luck, right? So anyways, uh, this is actually two of the same model. And I actually already... Oh dear. I already have um, two of this model, but... It's kind of cool to have more of it because of the really what it what it does. As I attempt to get these out without messing everything up. Ooh, that was close. On a quick note, congratulations to my favorite baseball team, the Chicago Cubs, on finally bringing home the World Series trophy. Um 108 years, and I am psyched. So anyways, this is model number 85921. My friend Diecast Emporium would know exactly what this is because he loves his uh, model numbers. He keeps track of that stuff, unlike me. Um, I just care about the model, not the numbers itself. And I'm really looking forward to this packaging. Now, this is an ex-Tonkin model. Um... And I've seen quite a few of these in real life. And here she is, the 627K wheel tractor scraper. For a second there, I thought it said 621, but so glad to have this model, or more of this model, because it's just a fantastic piece. Another one of these. And here it is sitting in here, and well, that's a different way to situate a model, that's for sure. Um, oh dear, I'm trying to be careful on getting this thing out because it is packed quite awkwardly. Throw all this stuff back in here. And I was going to get another one anyways just for the 10 really to be honest. Here she is. I'll have a review of this model up obviously. Um, the reason that you have to have multiples of this, in my opinion, is because it is a push-pull, and well, yeah, that's what it's for, push-pull. Um, that kind of defeats, like, that kind of takes away one of the main functionality um, options of this model. Here's the other one. I'm hoping that this unboxing actually goes to plan, even though it's not the most interesting unboxing since it's two of the same model. Push this out of the way as peanuts go everywhere. I'm going to try to start doing unboxings on a regular basis um, because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I kind of enjoy doing unboxing personally. Um, and I don't know if you guys like to watch them or not. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but I haven't really done an unboxing since my second year of YouTube, which was back in 2013, I think. Or 2014. One of the two. I think my last unboxing was like a skid steer. I bought it at a, at a mower dealership. And that's obviously not the right way to open it. So yeah, again, one... Uh, the packaging on these diecast masters models still like really does impress um, I know I know two people that were not thrilled actually they kind of despise this metal packaging however I love it personally as I'm going to hold the phone it's funny how I can actually like open these things with my left hand but get them right-handed another one that's like my 90th one 
I wish Diecast Masters would really print up a new one or something. So yeah, let's get it out. Gotta be careful because of all the metal handrails and stuff. They're very fragile. And there she is. Put this back in. Personally, I call this the uh, B box. It's the larger box compared to the one where like the most of the Diecast Master stuff comes in. Um, yep, ejector works and everything. All this stuff will be covered on the review, by the way. Um, but here's the push-pull function. Now that I have four of these, we'll have a proper train going. But yeah, it just connects like that, if you did not know. And just kind of, yeah. It's a really cool function, nonetheless. But anyways, guys, this one actually went to plan, which is amazing. Um, I mean, luckily this time I didn't, there was no interruptions. I didn't cut myself for whatever reason, which is why I actually had, like, I cut, like, you still kind of see them in the 5110 review and all that. Um, looks like that's a little bit bent. The rear uh, air cleaner. I'll have to fix that, obviously. Um, nothing happened in this one. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see more unboxings, uh, hit the like button um, or whatever. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, and I'm almost to 300 subscribers. Thanks a lot for that, guys. If you aren't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, as my hand likes to get really shaky at the end of these things, as always, there will be a review of it, and or of these beautiful models. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.